guys, welcome to the channel A9 Painting Service. In this video today, we're just gonna show you with you some little tips and tricks. So just sit back, relax, while I just show you some little tricks and tips in this video today. Remember, A9 Painting Service, remember to subscribe to the channel, okay? Alrighty, alrighty. Remember I told you, remember I told you about this channel. This channel, learning never stop all right so this is the concrete which we're using here now we're using the concrete as you can see the concrete 5210 all right that's the product that there which we're using gonna show you what a9 painting service use this product for all right just please remind them when you're using this product try to use a glasses it's based on the information on the label there it said that if it gets in your eye it can be very very harmful to your eyes all right so if you watch this video and you're planning to use this product please remember when you are gonna use this product to put on a safety glass all right all right so we're using two products here right now which we're gonna highlight it we're using the concrete and we're using the Berger Concrete Primer. Alrighty? Alright. So the purpose of we using the Berger Concrete Primer. Whenever time you have a high color in your room, a high color like that green there. You see that high color green? Yes. That's high color green there. So whenever time you have a high color like that in your room and you're planning to change your room color. To a lighter color for a better coverage you want to prime the surface before if it was like a darker color over a darker color you could have get away with it but from a dark color to a light color you want to prime the surface back first get it back to the white once you're gonna change from a dark color to a light color so get that very Hope you're getting that little very important tip there from A9 Painting Service, all right? So that is what we're using the Berger Concrete Primer for at the moment. And also, you want to use your drop cloth. You see that? You want to use a drop cloth. So when you're priming, if there's any fallout or any bumps back, it go right on it. The, the, the drop cloth you see that right there so you have a drop cloth to protect the tile and also you want to have a nice roller rod and a good roller nap like that that's the fabric roller that don't sprinkle the paint that's a very nice roller to use with the blue or the green stripe there all right so this is what we use in the concrete for you see the concrete now it's black maestro and fungus from the decking so if you're having a, a um an issue with your deck ceiling where it keep on um, the paint keep on stripping off or the texture keep on stripping off you can use the concrete on the surface before you like clean the surface put the concrete and then it's good to go for you to paint afterwards because what the concrete do is create a blockage on the surface there as you can see because when you apply the concrete the the concrete consistency is like a plastic so it form a plastic over the deck area there so it it block the moisture from come through all right so that is the purpose of we using the concrete. So if you should have a roof, not roof, a ceiling where it's giving you trouble, where it, it keep on the paint or the pattern keep on coming off, you wanna put the concrete on the surface there. Cause what happened? This customer house here now, the ceiling keep on stripping off, stripping off. Don't matter what she do. So she says she tired of it. So she tired of it. So she called A9 Painting Service. So we are doing some renovation here now. So as you can see, so this is what the concrete look like. You can get it at any hardware store. Not too familiar with the price of this product, alright? 
And the next thing about the bang print, you want to use like a very cheap brush. You want to use a brush that when you finish with this, you can show away the brush, alright? Because it's kind of sticky sticky and it's very stiff while you apply, when you're doing the application. But as you can see on the, the label there, see a man have the float so it can apply with a brush or you can use a steel float to, up, to put it on. Alright? So it's like a more like half a... Um, what consistency I would like call this now? It's like, like it's very thick, like some cornmeal porridge, something like that. It's very thick, like a cornmeal porridge. All right. So see, we have Dane and one of the scaffolding here doing it. So that's the application there, as so you can see. Dane is just dipping the brush. All right. You see it? So once you put that on. It's gonna block the moisture and the fungus from keep on coming back. So once you do that and then you're ready to paint, I can guarantee you that your paint will never strip off again. Alright, so we're doing two rooms and a passage. So we finish that room right there now. So you see it's like a blue finish. So once we do that, we're gonna prime back the ceiling and then paint it. Alright. So this is, they, they have the concrete inside it. So let me see this then, let me show them. So that is what it look like. You see how thick it is? You see? It's very thick. It's like a, it's like a cornmeal porridge consistency. You see it's running down there? Alright, but what then did, I think then add a little bit of water to his, so he can easily apply. Alright, so remember if you're having problem with your ceiling, which is keep on pushing off the paint or the texture, this is the product you want to use, alright? A9 Painting Service is putting out a very, very important tricks and tip there. Hope you're learning something from this. So I remember. Yes guys, so remember to subscribe to the channel, okay, A9 Painting Service, and you'll always get in some special updates. So for today, we're just gonna say out. Oh.